will learn how to divide fractions with or without regrouping. Let us begin. Let's try this first example. One third divided by two fifths. To divide fractions, first step is to get the reciprocal of the divisor or the second fraction. But how are we going to get the reciprocal of a fraction? Hmm. Let's have a quick review. To get the reciprocal of a fraction, we just simply switch the position of the numerator and the denominator. There! Now, the reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. Now, let us go back to our problem. Now, let's get the reciprocal of the divisor 2 fifths. There you go! The next step is we need to change the operation to multiplication. And it's time to multiply the numerators and the denominators. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6. Since our answer is already in its simplest form, this is now our final answer. Now let's have more example. Let's try 3 sevenths divided by 3 fifths. Again, what is our first step? You are right. We need to get the reciprocal of the divisor 3 fifths. Let us switch the numerator and the denominator. There. Now, let's change division into multiplication. Now, let us multiply the numerators and denominators. 3 times 5 is 15. 7 times 3 is 21. Is this our final answer? No, not yet. We can divide 15 and 21 by their greatest common factor, which is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now, this is our final answer. Now, let us try 7 eighths divided by 4 sevenths. Again, our first step is get the reciprocal of the divisor. Now, let us change division to multiplication. Let's multiply. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 4 is 32. Since our answer is an improper fraction, we need to change this into a mixed number. 49 divided by 32. 1. 1 times 32 is 32. 49 minus 32 is 17. Now our answer is 1 and 17 out of 32. Next one. How are we going to divide a fraction by a whole number? This is just the same on how we multiply a fraction to a whole number. First is, we put 1 as the denominator of the whole number. And then, let us get the reciprocal of the divisor. There! Now change division into multiplication. Let us multiply. 8 times 1 is 8. 9 times 4 is 36. 
let us simplify our answer. 8 and 36 can be divided by their common factor 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Now 2 ninths is our final answer. Now how are we going to divide a whole number by a fraction? Let us put 1 as the denominator of the whole number. Next, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Change division into multiplication. Let's multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 1 is 1. Now let us simplify. Since the denominator of this fraction is 1, it will be equals to 15. Because 15 divided by 1 is 15. Now how are we going to divide mixed numbers? First, change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Copy the denominator 2. Next one. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Copy the denominator 4. Now, let us go and get the reciprocal of the divisor. Change division into multiplication. And let's multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. 2 times 5 is 10. Now let us simplify our answer. Since this is an improper fraction, let us divide them. 20 divided by 10 is 2. Now our answer is 2. Wonderful job students! Here are the things that you learned today.